Oh, yeah. Total five and signs up all over the town. These people must be halfwits. Actually, we're British. Oh. How are you going? You on the property? Yes, I'm Elsford Armstrong. All right, I'm sending you to take your passion. Good job. I turned up early. So what happened? Well, there was this enormous fire. The place was deserted, so I had to call a CFA. She turned up just before you did. She's not very worried, is she? So where's the cow? You're looking right at it. Surely the ban doesn't apply to barbecues and incinerators. No, it applies to everything, Mrs. Armstrong. Unless, of course, you got a permit. Positively primitive. Yeah, primitive and also enforceable by law, Mrs. Armstrong. Well, I didn't like the fire. I took Annabelle to school and then I went shopping. What about your husband, Mrs. Oh, Armstrong? Of course not. He's gone to St. David's to see his broker. Hey, Joe, this has been Das with something. Well, who'd want to do such a thing? Obviously, somebody who wanted to destroy the evidence. Which they've unfortunately succeeded in doing. No, not at all. I still have plenty to go on here. Plenty left for the entire neighborhood. Oh, g'day, Mrs. A. How come I didn't get an invite to the barbie? Excuse me. Bloody pommy ignoramuses. You'd be Malcolm Tuesday, wouldn't you? What can I do for you? Bovine spongy what? Bovine spongy form encephalitis, BSE, mad cow disease. There's no BSE in Australia, Mr. Tuesday. There's no mistake in those symptoms. Abnormal posture, swaying, button that gatepost like a crazy thing. Yeah, and when was a cow doing this? Yesterday, I saw it, about 3, 3.30. I told Liz. Yeah, Liz. Who's Liz? Mrs. Armstrong. I call her Liz on account of him being Phil. You know, Buckingham Palace, Corgis. We are not amused. I saw that cow yesterday, Mr. Truesdale. There was nothing wrong with it. I'm telling you the truth. Are you now? Yeah. It was staggering around all over the place, slobbering and everything. She denied it, of course. Well, that's fair enough, considering the disease is confined mainly to the UK. Humans get it. That's a well-known fact. And Poms would be the perfect carriers. Everyone knows they're soap dodgers. What sort of gun do you own, Mr. Truesdale? Don't have a gun. Haven't had a gun on the property in seven years. I really would prefer to speak to someone else. Well, I'm afraid that if... Uh, my superior, you may please go ahead. Acting Sergeant right, Schultz, this is Mrs. Armstrong. Armstrong. I she would like to yourself. Mm. I don't know who shot your cow, lady, but whoever it was, I'd like to shake him by the hand. Get on your mouth. What can we do for you, Mrs. Armstrong? Mrs. Armstrong would like to withdraw the case. Sorry? I, I simply can't see the point in dragging out this unfortunate business any further. Well, don't you want to find out who shot and burnt your cow? The animal's dead. Insurance will cover it. Can't we just forget the business? No, I'm afraid it's, uh, it's a bit more complex than that, Mrs. Armstrong. Oh, yeah, lighting a fire in a restricted season is a serious matter. Yes, of course. I, I do see that. I'm sorry. Said a drink. Not something to wash his hands in. I don't say being a heart attack victims. Cheers. Hey, look who's here, Mrs. Elspeth Armstrong. Otherwise known as Lady Muck. Keith. Can I get you something? Oh, uh, gin and tonic. Oh, uh, gin and tonic. Very nice. Bit warm. <laughs> Shocking. I love a sunburned country. A land of sweeping plains. Keith, give it a rest. You're a palm yourself. That was years ago, and I took the oath. Oh, there's better. I must see if he'll loom his tails for the next hunt ball. <laughs> Don't take it personally. It's his warped sense of humour. It's 380, thanks. Ta. Keep it. Ta. Just look. That's a 22. Yeah, well, that's my guess, but uh, Frenzy can have to confirm it. Well, you get onto it, will you? Now, while we're waiting, we can go and search Mal Truesdale's no, property. can't find anything there. Oh, turn it up. All this rubbish about a mad cow disease. The guy's got idea to tattooed right across his forehead. Yeah, all right. His name did ring a bell, so I got Maggie to check out the DFO. What happened next? Uh -huh. He did have a shotgun. Handed into police in March 1989 after it blew the head off his 15-year-old son. It was his only child, so it stands to reason why you wouldn't want a gun around the place. We're wasting our time. We can't eliminate him until we search his property, all right? Are you going out there? Yeah, I may as well. I'll come with you. All right, well, I'll run this mad cow thing past Tibor and see what he has to say, huh? Well, you do that, Margaret, but it's a waste of time. Fine. Told you. Didn't I? 
Yeah, well, I'm sorry about this. Any of Mal's mates on a 22? You all right? I'm fine. All right, well, thanks for your help. No. Hey, detective. Why don't you ask the Armstrongs if they've got a 22? Hey, Dash, have you fixed that crime report yet? Hmm? Oh, um, no, I'm still working on it. Hey, Max, do you think there's anything in this BSA stuff? Well, T-Boy doesn't think so, but he's checking it with the vet health people anyway. Apparently, this cow was artificially inseminated with British stock. So it could be in the semen. Well, it could be, but it's not very likely. Uh, the stuff is frozen and we haven't imported any fresh stuff since the scare started. Yeah, but there must be some sort of risk. Especially if T-Boy's reported it. Yeah, I guess it must be. Gotcha. Are they always this bad? The flies, yeah, but at least they're not as bad as the mozzies. <laughs> the mozzies? Mosquitoes, you haven't got hold of this lingo at all yet, have you? Well, it's also strange. It's like living in a foreign country. It is a foreign country. And you know what they say, when in Rome, do it. <laughs> Not those particular Romans, of course. It's Philip's idea to come. He's quite right, because there's no future in cattle in Britain at the moment. Because of this mad cow thing, you mean? Yeah. We lost our entire herd. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's very distressing. Especially for Annabelle. I, I don't think she could bear it if it happened again. Oh, look, there's no risk of that. Not here, not in good old Mount Thomas. Mm. Mm. No, no, no risk at all. G'day, Gina. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hello. Um, I must be going. Oh, I say something? My jerry can, what's that doing there? Uh... I was going to ask you about that, Mr. Armstrong. Is uh, this cloth yours? I haven't the faintest. Annabelle, do you know anything about this? No, Daddy. You own a 22? Well, yes, but. Uh... I've seen the guns are in the lock and key inside the house. Right. I'd like to see it, please. May I ask what this is all about? We do much shooting. Well, rabbits, the odd fox, but not for a while. What about your wife? No. But she keeps it nice and clean. No, darling, I clean the guns. You know your mother loads firearms. I saw her. You do clean the guns, don't you, Mummy? I saw you last night. Well, if this is a sample of colonial justice, I say the sooner you become a republic, the better. Mm. Sure. Now, did you uh, shoot your cow, Mrs of Armstrong? Of course. I didn't. Did you set fire to the carcass? No. Right, well, we found a petrol can of yours and also a cloth belonging to you. I put the cloth in the rag bag in the shed. Obviously, whoever started the fire came looking for fuel, saw the jerry can and took the rags. Mm -hmm. So why did you clean your gun last night? I thought perhaps we might need it. Well, Mel Truesdale. Well, Philip was out late. And you were home alone with your young daughter, Annabelle Wing. Well, God only knows what Mal Truesdale's capable of if he could do that to poor Daisy. Well, what did you expect, a shootout? Well, I wanted to be able to defend myself and my child. Well, you know, this is Australia, Mrs Armstrong. It's not the Wild West. It's very little difference, as far as I can tell. Detective Hashem, there's very little difference at all.